All right, slice of terror. Let's. Oh my God. <laughs> Leave it to me to be scared of a toaster. <laughs> Alright guys, today I am over in Canton on the Strip and we're going to check out a Halloween city that actually used to be a Babies R Us. You can just slightly see the Babies R Us sign behind the Halloween City sign. You can see the B right before the H and the S right after the Y. And now it is Halloween spookiness with ladies walking in front of it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright guys, let's go on over here. Go in here, see if we can find some awesome stuff. The last Halloween city, not Party City, but the last Halloween city that we were at, a lot of the animatronics were not set up yet, but I see already through the windows that there is a ginormous dragon inflatable. All right, let's go check this out. Look at this enormous thing. I think I actually have one of these at home in my attic. I don't know if it's the anim the uh, the animated kind. Look at his wings going. That is pretty awesome. I bet he's 10 feet tall. Look at that, that's cool. I like that. All right, let's go in here, see what we can find. Oh my God, this place is decked out. Look at this, holy crap. Look at this, guys, right in the door. I jumped a mile when I turned around and saw this thing. It's an enormous spider. <laughs> Here's our jumping white spiders. I love these things. They cr scared the crap out of me in, uh, what was it, Party City the one day. Look, he glows under black light too. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I hate spiders, man. There was even a giant spider web on my hat this morning from the tunnels, the pipes, when I was hunting Pennywise. In the, in the Pennywise giveaway video. You guys gotta check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Hey, look at this, guys. We have some awesome inflatables right here, right inside the door. Let's check these things out. First of all, there's the inflatable skeleton dragon, which for some reason I really like. That's really strange, but I like him. He's not really huge, but look at this one right here, towering over us. He reminds me of the uh, those flailing things that you see out outside of like the car dealerships. Giant inflatable Fantome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Giant inflatable Phantom. There he is. Ten feet tall. He's pretty cool. Although I do kind of wish that he flailed around like those things. That would be awesome. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, spooky tree. I love the spooky trees. Inflatable haunted tree, eight feet tall. He's got a couple of ghosts. Wait, look. He's got like Slenderman fingers. <laughs> Another ghost back there. I do wish he had a pumpkin or two with him, but there's always things like this that you could get to put in front of him, which is totally awesome. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pumpkins in this one. Do we have a box? Inflatable pumpkin patch. Yeah, $85 for him. He's eight feet wide. Okay, let's see here. Now we got the inflatable ghoul. He's eight feet tall. Look at this guy. I like him, but I, I'm so stuck on the animatronic things now. I do like the fingers, though. Those are super creepy being long like that. That's awesome. All right, what do we got here? Headstone, it says, bye. <laughs> okay. I thought it said bye Felicia under there maybe, but it just says bye. Oh, look, he's blinking too. We got three ghosts on top here. And then we got the ghost stories, but oh, by the little campfire. Look at that. Three ghosts by the campfire and he's telling the ghost story. That's pretty cool. Here's one that's not set up. A bat coming out of a pumpkin. Yeah, I think that's it. Those two are set up. We got a couple of animatronics here. Ghost swing. Apparently that just is a swing that swings by itself. What ghastly thing swings back and forth on this cursed swing? Sound or foot pad activated. <laughs> Teeter of terror. Oh, this is cool. Look at that girl's face. It's a teeter-totter animatronic. I bet you anything, that, yeah, there's music. Dolls move up and down, glowing eyes with haunting music. Look at their faces. I love it. That's pretty cool. I wish they had that one set up. Okay, look at this one. I have not seen this one ever. Jumping Jenny. She's apparently jumping rope 
Rope moves forward and backward, glowing eyes with haunting music. Look at her face. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> and here's a animated feral doggy door. He must come shooting out of there. John Doe, oh my god, he sits up like Michael Myers. That would be pretty creepy. Uh, I think that's it for those. Okay, look, we got a ton of, uh, what do you call them, Pennywise animatronics here. We looked at these at the other Halloween city, and amazingly, of course, these guys just opened. I mean, I stepped in here the other day, and there was nothing. All you could see was the old Babies are Us, so they just opened. Um, they don't have many of their animatronics set up yet. I really would like to see this guy going. I think he just pops right out of the well chimney. I don't know. I think it's a well. <laughs> and then here's this one here with the hand that apparently just sticks up like it's coming out of the sewer. Moves and spins around the room. Oh, okay, so apparently he rolls around the whole room. I guess that's what he does. He must have, like, wheels on the bottom. He. All of this is a hand, and I keep saying he. There's the balloon. Ooh, it's hard. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a nerd. I don't see the life-size Pennywise, but he's probably going to be standing right here like in the other one. But we do have the sewer grabber. I don't know if he's turned on. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, he is. I can't understand what he's saying, though. Oh my god. <laughs> he knew it was coming and he still scared the crap out of me. This is where all the animatronics will be set up as soon as they get done. So I think um, I'm just gonna pass that right now. We'll check out the rest of the store and I'll come back another day soon when they have all those up so we can see all of them working. Oh my gosh, guys, I almost missed this. This huge inflatable Jack Skellington over here. You gotta see this. Look at this. I have not seen this anywhere either. This is totally awesome. Look at Zero and his head goes back and forth. <laughs> Look at his little pumpkin on the front of his nose. And we got like the projection lights inside. Jack Skellington holding a, a spider snowflake. Okay. How much is this guy? $189.99. You guys know me. I am so tempted to buy this and then give it away. <laughs> Why do I do this stuff? I just love Halloween so much. All right, let's look at some of the costumes over here. I see Jason stuff to get started. Oh, look, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. That's a pretty cool sign. What in the heck? It's like a real soft, foamy mask. <clears throat> mask, if I could talk. Here's a girl's outfit. Hockey mask, here's the rubber masks. I swear, people just walk around the store and punch these masks in the face. Because <laughs> they're always smashed. Okay, now this is kind of cool, actually. I usually don't like just the face masks, but that's a pretty good looking Halloween mask right there. I mean, Michael Myers, you know. I wouldn't buy it, I would prefer the one with hair, but here we got uh, the strangers on the top. And then we got the Purge. This is a pretty good one right here. I like that. Sorry about all the reflection, guys. It's hard to get a good picture with the reflection on the plastic. But here's other Purge masks. Freddy Krueger. We got Freddy and Chick Freddy. <laughs> Fredelia. I don't know. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Here's Seed of Chucky. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere else. The other Chucky things I've seen were all... Uh, Child's Play 2. Here's a Freddy glove. Look at this. Little Freddy face mask with glasses. That's kind of cool. I should buy that and wear it down the street while I'm driving. <laughs> oh cool, they got a nice selection of ghost face stuff here. Bleeding ghost face mask. Here's the whole costume. It probably comes with the mask, yeah. Although, it's kind of strange that they don't have any uh, scream knives over here. They have the machete. Another machete, a bleeding mini machete, an axe, but they don't have any scream knives. Maybe uh, the people setting up don't know what knife goes with that since Scream is an older movie. V for Vendetta. Oh, here's the, uh, the updated Scream MTV mask. I really don't care for that one at all. 
I was so bummed out whenever they revealed that. Oh my god, the nun. This is actually a pretty good looking mask. I don't like it and it's scary, <laughs> but it's a pretty good looking mask. Here's Riverdale stuff. Everybody keeps asking me about Riverdale. Look at this, guys. We got the classic masks. I really like these. Wolfman and Frankenstein. I love those. Those are like from the classic horror movies. You don't see stuff like that all the time. You usually have to get on like eBay and order stuff like this. That's really cool. I like that. You could have a whole clue party. A clue themed party. With everybody dressed up. Colonel Mustard. Dear Lord. What is this? Plastic botchery. <laughs> Botched plastic surgery apparently. Oh my god. We got Stranger Things here. Look at the napkins down here. Friends don't lie. Here's some morph suits. A lot of people were asking me about those. I don't remember what specifically, but it looks like they have a really good selection of them here. We got the Adams family. Ooh, lots of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And another one that I just saw that a lot of people have told me to look for. Look at this. Beetlejuice right there. That's the first time I've seen a Beetlejuice costume. And then they got Chick Beetlejuice. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. Dang. Woo wee! <laughs> More Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington, Sally. Um, Oogie Boogie. Here's a Lady Jack Skellington. We got Flintstones, Wilma. Although that's, unless they just don't have them out yet, that's the only Flintstones I see. You gotta have Fred. Powerpuff Girls, Care Bears. They got a lot of stuff here I don't think I've seen in any other stores. Here's a bee costume. Sweet as honey. <laughs> Look at this Dr. Seuss jumpsuit. That is pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty creative, too. I don't think I've seen this guy anywhere either. Moneybags. The Monopoly guy that's supposed to have a monocle if it weren't for the Mandela effect. <laughs> that's a pretty cool outfit right there. And it's only 17 bucks. That's pretty awesome. Oh my god, this is one of my favorites already. Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> Look, it's a hippo hat. And there's the Hungry Hungry Hippo beads. I only see two colors though, orange and pink. Oh, two of them come in an outfit. Includes four pieces, two hats, two necklaces. That's really cool, so that's a, a good uh, couple's costume. I wish they had other colors too though. Wait a minute, they do. Green and yellow, so if you had four friends, like me, Wally, Richard, and Kara, we could all be Hungry Hungry Hippos. I'd have to be the one hippo that's on a low-carb diet, though. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. You gotta love the Rugrats stuff. Reptar suit. That is sweet. 45 bucks for a Reptar. I love that. Tommy. Oh, look, we got Papa Smurf. What the heck? <laughs> SpongeBob. All kinds of different SpongeBob stuff here. Look at this. A Patrick hat? Holy crap. I almost have to buy that. Almost. Look at the Spongebob hoodie. If they had my size, I would probably buy that because I'm such a nerd. Here's some Aladdin costumes. Jasmine. The genie. Uh, hmm. That looks like that's it. I don't see Prince Ali Ababwa. Guys, we got the sea witch from Little Mermaid. Keep singing! Oh, look at this, a scar mouth mover from Lion King. The mouth moves with your mouth. That is a seriously awesome mask, and it's a full head mask, too. Wow. That is a really cool mask. Not seen that anywhere. 70 bucks. Hard plastic. That is awesome. And you can't go wrong with the pinata. I love this one. Oh my god, look at this. He's sitting on a toilet. <laughs> Here's a bee shirt for a dude. Look, it's killer bee kit. It's just a bee shirt with blood on it. This is kind of cool. A Medusa headpiece. It'd be way better if they were like real snakes. <laughs> Got one-eyed Willy up here. Arr. 
whole bunch of uh, pirate stuff here, accessories and stuff. If you wanted to have a pirate party. Ooh, look at the dagger. That's cool. That's really heavy, too. That's, that's like solid. That's not one of these that's just uh, hollow and going to drop on the ground and fall apart. That's cool. Deadpool. Iron Man. Looks for adults and kids, actually. Wayne's World. <laughs> party excellent. Ooh, I like this. Lady Gangster. Mob Wife. Flashy Flapper. And here's the Mob Boss. Gangster Zoot Suit. I haven't seen this one anywhere. Ant-Man and Wasp outfits. Look at the enormous fro. World's biggest afro wig. That is awesome. Look at these uh, jackets, guys. Look at that one. Oh my god. That is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, at least it looks like it. Could just be a takeoff, but that's pretty awesome. And here's a handful of different uh, bee costumes. Zombie. <laughs> Bumble Beauty. Honey Bee. A couple people have asked me to keep an eye out for bee costumes. Here's one. That's pretty cool. That looks like an old one. Dang. We got Flash. That looks like adult size and kid size. Ooh, Spider Girl. That looks like a pretty good outfit. Supergirl. A couple of different options for Supergirl. Guys, we got Teen Titans. I just knocked something off behind me. <laughs> These are pretty cool, though. I don't think I've seen Teen Titans anywhere else. I knocked off the She-Ra costume. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have He-Man. We do have the Princess of Power sword. If you want it to be She-Ra. There's the wig. DC superhero girls, Harley Quinn. I don't know that Harley Quinn is necessarily a hero, but they have it. Lots of Spider-Man here. Selection of Batman suits. And they got a Batgirl suit. Here's some Overwatch. Some people have told me to keep an eye out for that stuff. Assassin's Creed. This is cool, Halo helmet. That's a good looking helmet too. That's thick plastic. Here's the Halo outfits. We got some Fortnite stuff. Adventure Time Jake costume. Incredibles. Looks like got man and big man. <laughs> this is funny guys, as I'm shopping in here you can see in the background babies are uh, signs. And like up here it still even says thank you for shopping at Babies R Us. Holy crap, Andre the Giant. Anybody want a peanut? What is this guy's name? Undertaker or something? I don't know, I'm not a big WWFENWO, whatever you call it. This is, I think, Steve Austin here. Here's our bingo guy. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> Paco. Power Rangers. Lego Ninjago. Ooh, Lego Batman, that's cool. Look at this mask. I haven't heard of Top Wing, but they got it. Greaser Girls. Monster High. They got a lot of Monster High costumes. Somebody was asking me about Descendants 3. I, de I see Descendants and Descendants 2, but I don't see Descendants 3 anywhere. Here's some Descendants 3 on the top. Here's some costumes for younger, younger kids and babies. Oh my god, look at this one. A little baby Jack Skellington. That is so cute. Look, baby Spider-Man. <laughs> what else did I see? Oh, here's a bee. A little stinger. I love the bee costumes. Buttons on the foot. Here we go. Never play with me anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Totally rips his face off and it's a skull. But <laughs> I have another one of these menacing creeps. I like these things. This one looks, it's not as creepy, but it would still creep you out. He's got that smile on his face like he likes what he's seeing through your front window. Here's a terror clown. Let's see what he does. Ooh. Oh, crap. <laughs> I like the scream in there. 
Look at this, a bag of mini skulls. I love little accessory things like this. If you're having a Halloween party, you could just have little mini skulls laying around in different places. And look at this, glowing doll face magnets. Those are pretty creepy, they look like wax. All right, slice of terror. Let's. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> leave it to me to be scared of a toaster. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it for the moment for Halloween City here in the old Babies R Us. They're working on putting up all the animatronics here. So, yeah, like I said in the beginning, we'll just come back when all those are set up and we'll do a specific video just of those because it looks like they have a whole bunch of good ones here. I so badly want to step on that right now and see what she does, but I'll save that for the next video. Look, guys, before we go, they have an old purple Babies R Us cart. So cool. That's it for this store. If you would like to see this store when it was a functioning Babies R Us actually going out of business, you can go back in my videos and look because I film all kinds of stuff like that. That's just always interesting to me. These stores that are going out of business and where in the heck did I park? Oh. <laughs>